a spirit-filled Wednesday, dear friends in Christ. This is Sister Clemens for today's Gospel Power. Looking up to heaven, Jesus prayed, Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. While I was with them, I protected them in your name that you have given me. I guarded them, and not one of them was lost except the one destined to be lost, so that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you, and I speak these things in the world, so that they may have my joy made complete in themselves. I have given them your word, and the world has hated them, because they do not belong to the world, just I do not belong to the world. I am not asking you to take them out of the world, but I ask you to protect them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world, just I do not belong to the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. As you have sent me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, so that they also may be sanctified in truth. Even as Jesus faces his impending death, he does not become self-preoccupied, but is primarily concerned about his disciples. By giving them the Father's word, they have become the object of the world's hostility. Since they must remain in the world as he, their shepherd, returns to the Father, Jesus begs the Father to consecrate them in truth. This petition has to do with marking out the disciples and setting them apart for the sole purpose of continuing Jesus' work of witnessing to the truth. Through the Word of God, they will be preserved from the corrupting influence of the world's values and standards. Disciples of Jesus any time in history can be recognized by their commitment to the truth in their struggle to stand up against worldly systems founded on lie and deception. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, may the assurance that we are protected by your petition to the Father make us more courageous witnesses in a world seduced and confused by lies. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all 
and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Celebrating the Pauline Family Year of the Word of God from November 26, 2020 to November 26, 2021 with a theme that the Lord's message may spread quickly. Yeah.